Are you tired of looking for arrows on PP19? It took me months to try and figure out how to get an arrow on Premiere Pro. I was like you, looking for an arrow for my project and I was going nuts, I couldn't find it on Premiere Pro. Let me show you how to quickly download some arrows for your project. Well, like I said, it was hard for me to draw an arrow in Premiere Pro. I didn't want to do the little, you know, line drawings of an arrow. It looks kind of corny. I wanted my arrows to look nice. Well, it took me some months to figure out how to do it. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I can show you how to download some arrows and put in Premiere Pro. And you can see how the arrows can be manipulated. All right, let me show you how it's done. First thing you're going to do is you're going to, you know, you have Premiere Pro up. Okay. Uh, and you're going to go to this file, which you'll look at the bottom of the description, and I'll say, you know, the link will be down there, so just go ahead and click it. That link is gonna take you here. And here are is some of the arrows, and here's more of them here that you're gonna get. Uh, now, you can find another file if you like. If, if you like those arrows, you can pick it. Uh, this is the one that I'm using right now. Uh, I kinda use this one a little bit. Oops, yeah, this one or this one, one of these two. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm using. Anyway, so, uh, it takes you to this link. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this button here. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you a file. And if you look down here, there's the file that it's downloading. So, uh, you're gonna show the folder, and here it is here, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click there. And it's gonna take you to this folder. Just click that. And here is the file you want. Okay, it's gonna take you to this file here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click it a couple of times. It's gonna come up and then you're gonna hit install. And when you hit install, it's gonna install it into your system, okay? Now, okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna close Premiere Pro and then you're gonna turn it back on. So uh, go to file, new, then you're gonna go down to a legacy title. You get, that says number three, so you say okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to text, click it, and we're gonna click here where it says font family, and we're gonna look for arrows and symbols. That's the file we downloaded from that free font site. So we're gonna click that, it comes up here, and it's highlighted here, so you wanna turn that off so it looks like that. Then you're gonna come over here, and we're gonna use the letter, uh, if you know it, well, first of all, let me show you this. Uh, go up to the letter Q on your keyboard and type across, all the way across, uh, until the arrow stop coming up. You'll see what I mean here. Just So here's Q, W, E, R, T, and so on. Okay, so you don't get any more after that one. I'm gonna go down to the next row where the letter A is at. I'm gonna go type across here. So I got A, S, D, F. Okay, those are those arrows on that row. Now I'm gonna go down to Z, uh, row Z and type across, Z, X, C. And those are the arrows on that row. Okay, so now um, what you want to do is look at the arrows and pick an arrow that you like and just memorize the letter. So for instance, uh, we like, uh, let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, let's just say we want the letter F, okay? So let's exit out of here. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do is we said the letter F. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the text, click it there, make sure we still have arrow symbol one. And then we're going to come back here, click this, and we're going to type the letter F. And that's our arrow, okay? Now, let's say we want to change the color, we come here, it's red. Okay, now we got a red arrow. So we want to make this longer. What we're going to do where it says width here, we're going to come across and, oop, yeah, there you go, yeah, it's moving. And you're going to slide this number across so you can see, you can change it there as far as the length. Let's say you want it to look thick, right? You're going to give it some more height. 
or less height if you want. Uh, let's see, you know what? Let's move it down here some more. Take the arrow if you need to move it. See it better there, right? Okay, and then uh, what you're gonna do now, oh, this is something I wanna show you. If you go down to uh, slant, you can see how it turns. You can turn that arrow like around a corner to the right. And then if you go backwards, it turns to the left. So you wanna play with it, you know, positioning the arrow, you know, you'll get better results. But it does that to all the arrows. So what you want to do is play with the arrows to find the one that you really like and you'll probably use a lot. Okay, so let's say we like this arrow. Uh, well, let's say it just needs to be a little small. Let's say we make it small, all right? And then we say, hey, that's good. But we want to point it to, let's say, the metal of the key there. So we put it there and we're good to go. Okay, now we're done with our arrow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit. If you remember, it said Title 3. Here it is right here, Title 3. We're going to go and we're going to drag it in to our timeline. And then, let's take this off here. And then if we drag this over here, you'll see there's the arrow that we drew, OK? So let's put it in our little. So now, we drag that on top, and there's our arrow. Well, I hope this helps. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye!